Okay. Let us understand about the multiplication of fractions. Now, let us take any two fractions. Okay. Let's take maybe um, 3 upon 7 into 6 upon 9. Right? Then we take 5 upon 11 into 7 upon 13. Right? And we also take 6, 3 by 8 into 12. Right? 1, 2, 3. So the question which comes up is, how do you multiply these fractions? Okay? Now, in order to multiply two fractions of the nature A upon B into C upon D, to get the product of these two fractions, what do we need to do? We need to do the product of numerators and divided by the product of denominators. Okay? Now, in order to do that, you have to convert a fraction into either a proper fraction or an improper fraction. So, let's first see the simple ones. So, 3 upon 7 into 6 upon 9. So, first, what is the top thing? Product of the numerators. So, the numerator is 3 into 6 divided by product of the denominator 7 into 9. So, what do we get here? We get 3 into 6 is equal to 18 and we get 7 into 9 is equal to 63. Right? Now, you can also write these numerators and denominators in a little more simpler form. And how do you do that? If you see here, basically 3 is here and 9 is here. In case of multiplication of fractions, what you can also do is, you can divide, I mean, what this means is that if a numerator can be divided by a denominator, okay, or both of them are divisible by the same number, we divide them by the same number and the result remains unchanged. So, in this case, let's say if I divide this by 3, so this will give me 1 and if I divide 9 by 3, this will give me 3. So, I can also write this as instead of 18 by 63, I can also write this as 1 into 6 divided by 7 into 3. But if you notice, 3 can also divide 6. So, you can cut, divide this by 3 to get 1, divide this by 3 to get 2. So, 2 into 1 or 2 or divided by 7 to 1, 7. So, whenever two numbers can be divided, you do that. In this case, we have 5 upon 11 and 7 upon 13. So, we write this as 5 into 7 divided by 11 into 13. Now, if you notice, none of the numbers is divisible by each other. Or no, there is no common number which divides both of them. So, we just write the product of the numerator divided by the product of the denominator. 11 into 13 is 143. 5 into 7 is 35. Now, let us see the third one, right? In this case, basically what we have here is a mixed fraction, right? So, the first thing that you do is you convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. How do you do that? So, in order to convert this into an improper fraction, we will take the denominator as it is. The numerator will change wherein you will have the proper number or the whole number 6 multiplied by the denominator and you add the numerator to it. So, 6 into 8 gives you 48 plus 3 51 divided by 8. So, now this one will become what? This will become 51 divided by 8 into 12. Okay? You can write this as 12 by 1. What will be the product? 51 into 12 divided by 8 into 1. Now, if you see this carefully, 4 divides 12 to gives you 
a number 3, quotient of 3 and 4 divides 8 to give you a quotient of 2. So you can simply write this as 51 into 3 divided by 2 into 1 or 151 divided by sorry 153 divided by 2 which is the answer. Right? So in case of mixed fractions what you do is first convert them into improper fractions like I did here. Okay, This is an improper fraction. Why? Because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Right? Once you do that then multiply this with the other one. Okay? 